Good evening, friends. Thank you for your valuable comments on my videos on Twitter, Ku, and Twitter. We make sure that we read all of them and post them on social media. Today, we'll give you the inside of what happens in the cricket IPL matches and how the whole thing is linked with what we are seeing in Bollywood and the political scenario. Meanwhile, on, on my right, I'll open a window where you can see uh, uh, pictures which we'll be loading as we speak. So let me uh, just add, add the screen as well. Yes. Today, we uh, will take you through the whole uh, story, uh, friends. Uh, so uh, let's start. Uh, once cricket was tagged, friends, and known as a gentleman's game. The game was born and nurtured in England, and it initially took root among the upper strata of society. Until 1962, there was a clear divide between the gentlemen and the players, with gentlemen with amateur status as against the players who were professionals. Since then, all the cricketers who indulged in the higher forms of the game of cricket have become professionals. Test cricket withstood the test of time and the purest form of the game stood almost unblemished back then till it changed over to T20 series. At that time, Sharjah became the hotbed of international uh, cricket, li uh, limited overs cricket, but suddenly the gun stopped booming because the rot had set in and it was said that many a bad deal had taken place at this cricket, cricketing oasis. Sharjah almost died as a venue in spite of its state-of-the-art facilities. This was way back in 2001. After, the BC, uh, after this, BCCI, through Lelit Modi, hatched the Indian Premier League, better known as the IPL in 2008. From the very inception, IPL ran more on one uh, rail of morality. It did not take long for trouble to brew at the top with franchisee problems. And Lalit Modi, who was virtually the most influential person on earth in cricket as a chairman and the commissioner of the IPL, being dethroned and then even forced to leave the country. In the post Lalit Modi era, instead of reforming itself, the Indian multinational local tournament continued to go over the spill of corruption and controversy. And now it has begun to cast shadows over individual players, over a plethora of charges. Along with that came all the dark aspects connected to the game, which is betting, match fixing, black money, after party drugs, sex, alcohol, and the supply of white cheerleader girls to the players. The dark secrets of the IPL include so many that one wonders if there's anything genuine about these cricket matches. If you have noticed, uh, viewers, the teams themselves have a master-slave-like relationship where billionaires like Neeta Ambani, SRK and Raj Kundra Shilpa Shetty, they bought cricketers as they do in Rome long time back when the queen, kings acquired gladiators for a certain price. They were seen as commodities. Back in time, cricket was considered a decent game with the men in white. But with the coming of men in various colors, IPL became a, 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 a betting, betting ground for corruption. Through the SSR case, we know that a company like Quan managed actors and models careers. That, but that was on the surface. We all know that the company is owned by a certain superstar who later said that he doesn't own it and that the company extorts money from the stars to get them movies. There were many scandals where the Quan CEO was supposed to have sexually abused models and want to be actresses. Quan deals very closely with Cornerstone, which is owned by who? Bunny, Bunty Sajda, who is the brother-in-law of Salman Khan's brother. And Cornerstone is known to manage the careers of cricketers. And it is said that many marriages between actresses and cricketers happened with Cornerstone's blessings. As the ED and NCB questioning started, we also came to know 
that drugs were being supplied at parties by these very companies. And Shruti Modi's name came often in these WhatsApp chats uh, regarding uh, this as well as porn stuff. You would have heard of the NGO called Being Human. It is said to run the biggest betting syndicate with the help of two people, that is Arbaz Khan and Bhatti Saisa. Betting in a cricket did not start with the likes of Arbaz Khan and Raj Kundra. In an incident where India's most wanted underworld don, Dawood Ibrahim, who was introduced as a big businessman to the team, had entered once entered the Indian cricketer's dressing room and offered to gift every player a car if they won the match against Pakistan in the Sharjah Cup in 1987. The offer was turned down by the team and Pakistan went on to beat India. The incident was revealed by former captain Dilip Vengasarka. The cash-rich IPL has been shadowed by, as you know, gambling controversies since it started in 2008. It was the brother of the superstar who owned the NGO Being Human. Actor and producer Arbaz Khan, who admitted in 2018 that he used to place bets during the IPL, the Indian Premier League matches, the police had said. Arbaz Khan had told the police in Maharashtra's Thane, where he was questioned, that he had been placing bets for the last six years, the cops said. This is in 2018. And he also said that he allegedly lost 2.80 crores to a bookie called Sonu Jalal in bets on IPL matches and was not playing and was he was not paying the amount following which the bookie had threatened the actor an official said citing the interrogation of the arrested accused the police officer questioned him was Pradeep Sharma by now friends we all know the names of the top Mumbai police officers because of the Parambir Singh and Waze Khan cases Pradeep Sharma of course, he said that Arbaz Khan cooperated with the Mumbai police. During the interrogation, a connection between Jalan and Arbaz Khan was established. And Pradeep Sharma, a senior inspector and head of the anti-extortion cell, said that uh, Sonu Jalan allegedly had a diary with details of clients and bookies. The police say he worked for a kingpin of cricket betting who goes by the name of Junior Calcutta. Sonu Jalan, according to reports, was first arrested in 2008 for IPL betting. He allegedly had links with Karachi-based terrorist Dawood Ibrahim. Arbaz, during the quizzing, admitted that he knew Sonu Jalan, who was believed to be one of the top bookies of the country for the five years before that. He also confessed to placing bets on international matches, including IPL. The case investigations were going on since past five to six years and could have involved amounts of over rupees 500 to 600 crores. According to the police inspector Kotmire, the entire IPL scam involved some of the biggest bookies operating from Mumbai, Ahmedabad, Jaipur and New Delhi. Actor Arbaz Khan admitted to betting in six IPL matches. Remember Kwan and Cornerstone managed cricketers. Kwan was owned by Salman Khan, which he later denied was his company. Disha Salyan, you remember, used to work for Cornerstone uh, in the Sports and Entertainment Private Limited. Banti Sajda, brother-in-law of Suhail Khan, he was a close confidant of being human, a CEO of this company. Cornerstone looked after the business of many, even now looks after the business of many cricketers like Virat Kohli, KL, Rahul, now, friends, you want to know who rescued Arbaz Khan when he was caught betting? Well, it was Paramveer Singh, of course. And who was Paramveer Singh at that time? Paramveer Singh, the man whose wife is director of the Indian Bulls, real estate com management company, manages DLF accounts. He was the one who gave a clean check to Ajit Pawar in seven uh, seven. K crore irrigation scan. He was the one who granted relief to Arbaz Khan in the IPL betting match due to lack of evidence. Then came the son of Dara Singh, actor Vindu Dara, Dara Singh, who was arrested in 2013 by the Mumbai police for cricket betting, specifically spot fixing. He was later released on bail. Not to be left behind, 
was our Fawn Raj Kundra, who is now embroiled in the pornography case. He was banned from cricket for life in IPL betting case. In 2013, Rajasthan Royal, Royals co-owner Raj Kundra was questioned by Delhi police following charges against him of betting on cricket matches. During the probe, Raj Kundra went on to admit that he had placed bets on cricket matches and claimed that he bet through bookies and his business partner, a friend, Umesh Goenka. Kudra told police that he did not fix matches. Following this, the police con confiscated Raj Kundra's passport to ensure he did not leave the country during investigations into the IPL spot fixing scandal. Later, a Supreme Court appointed panel suspended Rajasthan Royals for two years and slapped life ban on Rajasthan Royals co owner Raj Kundra from any cricketing activity for their involvement in betting on matches. And uh, you remember, uh, Shilpa Shetty was a great one for, uh, for uh, betting. She like uh, there are pictures of her seen in uh, Sri Lanka with uh, you know the the actress who was caught for drugs Sanjana from Sandalwood and Arbaz Khan. Now she can't say that. See, Rajkundra was not into betting. If she <laughs> pretends about all this, everything will come out. All the skeletons will come out of the cupboard very soon. Along with this, uh, viewers, one thing you must note is that the presence of the cheerleaders. They were invited to perform at the matches and also be present at the after-match parties. In IPL 2020, Sherlyn Chopra claims she saw wives of Bollywood stars snorting white powder during the KKR party. She recalled an incident where she saw cricketers and Bollywood star wives snorting white powder during an IPL party she had attended long back in Kolkata. She said that she was invited by Sinayug founder Ali Murani to watch a live cricket match of KKR match at the iconic Eden Gardens and then attend the party. She said everybody was in a party mood and were dancing. And she saw the wives of cricketers and Bollywood stars snorting the white powder when she entered the washroom. Talking about the incident, she told ABP Live, my after match party me gayi aur waha dekha ki cricketers bollywood celebrities sab dam maro dam kar rahe the dance ka mahol tha sab ke sath maine dance kiya bahut masti ki itna dance kiya ki thak gayi to washroom gayi thoda freshen up karne washroom kholte hi apne superstars ki jo bibiyan hai white powder cocaine wo snort kar rahe the she also revealed that she saw KKR owner Shah Rukh Khan's wife snorting the white powder. He, aur unke ilawa so called superstars and unki patniya bhi maujood the, she added. This comes after actress Riya Chakravarti, who is the prime accused in the Sushant Singh Rajput case, revealed names in front of NCB when grilled on the drugs angle. She reportedly took the names of 25 Bollywood stars. Moving on to uh, another uh, uh, girl, a cheerleader, a South African cheerleader, Gabriela Pascoloto. She revealed in her blog that, all, that most cricketers were disrespectful and, in, and uh, in the night they became almost shameless. In 2011, Gabriela, one of the 40 cheer girls from South Africa, created a furor when she started tweeting about her experiences as the IPL girl. Later, she was approached by a website, alternatecricket.com, to write an anonymous blog on which she wrote about flirtatious cricketers and what happens at IPL parties. One of her fellow, fellow cheerleaders informed cricketers in the team who complained to the IPL chairman, uh, Gabriela was sacked and sent home. She told South African newspaper, The Witness, I was sent home as if I was a criminal. I was treated as if I had taken drugs or done something awful. And I was never offered an opportunity to give my side of the story. It's a joke. There were cameras everywhere at these after parties, watching what they got up to. The guys treated us like a piece of meat. We couldn't go anywhere without the crowds mobbing us. But nothing I wrote was directed at any one person. I think the cricketer, who was an Australian, 
who complained had a guilty conscience. She also wrote, before departing for India, I had friends and family passing on travel tips, advice, and personal experiences. Some of it good and some of it worrying, as this was my first trip overseas. Remember, this, this blog, this part of the blog, she wrote it as anonymous. As this was my first trip overseas, I needed to take it all in. But with any challenge in life, I like to have an open heart, clear head, and positive attitude. This was not just a holiday abroad. This was a job. And nobody could prepare me to become a cricket-loving, cheerleading IPL girl but me. Already three weeks have passed, and in the time, I cannot believe how a group of normal girls can become instant celebrities. Each team of 10 girls has a manager, and we all receive strict instructions from them about safety, behavior, and reputation. As it seems, girls from previous years did not have, did not heed the uh, rule books. For example, if people ask why we are in their country, we have to say that we are friends on holiday. The majority of Indians are cricket crazy, glued to their televisions, reading the papers, supporting their teams. So as the tournament kicked off, it became pretty obvious we were telling the truth. On our days off, we are free to explore and take in what India has to offer. But it's not always easy. You can just imagine a group of fit, easy on the eye, Western ladies cruising the congested, busy streets. To the citizens, we are practically like walking pawn. All eyes are on you all the time. It's complete voyeurism. The women double take, see you, and then pretend you do not exist. The men see you on your face, then your boobs, your butt, and then your boobs again. As we walk, all you hear is IPL, IPL, with a little head jingle. Usually, only after day matches, there is an exclusive after party. And at night is when it all happens. The music pumps, the drink, drinks flow, and the cricketers come and go. We mingle and associate with important people of the IPL, wearing their finest and sexiest. Sponsors of all sorts, media and fashion shows, even Indian MTV. But there's real happens, uh, real fun happens in the VIP rooms where the players and night, uh, night owls can cause scandal. The few Indian players we have met, such as MS Dhoni and Rohit Sharma, have been very polite and keep to themselves in the dark corners. Hot shots. Hot shots like Tendulkar with families at home are never present. The likes of uh, John T. Rhodes and Albi Morkel are notorious for having a good time with friends. Graham Smith will flirt with anything while his girlfriend lurks behind him. Aussies are fun but naughty, such as Aiden Blizzard and Dan Christian. By the end of a crazy evening, a certain someone had played kissing catchers with three girls, known to me only. Although he has his own girlfriend back home, he cooed to each girl, come home with me, I just want to cuddle. Oh, please, I have, to come, I have come to realize that cricketers are the most loose and mischievous sportsmen. I've come across, uh, come across uh, makes me wonder if I could worry about them more than the commoners on the street. I still have a long while here, so I shall keep my tip list in mind. One of the most uh, least talked about points in the IPL, friends, is women's safety. In the past, the league has also faced a couple of incidents of women's harassment. Even the IPL cheerleaders have sounded their displeasure on several occasions. Though they put it as a show with a bright, uh, broad smile on their faces, there have been times when they have uh, raised the security concerns. However, the authorities have never tried to work out solutions for them. This plus the fact that they, they were kept in very uh, cheap, uh, you know, surroundings, that like a one-star hotel. According to a cheerleader, most of the Indian audience treat them like sex dolls. They sh shout out words that contain a high level of obscenity. One of them has also stated that there are fans, their fans undervalue their art form. She went on to add that they also have to wear uncomfortable outfits that are not properly designed. In one of the cases, the police have searched their rooms without any warrant, which further validates the point in all the organizers have never treated them in a respectable manner. By seeing the glitz and glamour of IPL cheerleaders, the fans will be thinking that they're leading a happy life. Also, there is a common belief that they receive hefty paychecks for their performance. Unfortunately, the reality is a bitter one as they only get a small amount of money for their hard work. It also depends on the franchises as some teams pay less compared to others. A few years ago, Two Ukrainian cheerleaders who worked for the Rajasthan franchise confirmed that sometimes their payment are not issued on time. You know, Rajkundra and Shilpa were the 
uh, uh, people who managed it. They also complained about the problems related to food and necessary support uh, items, which are not usually available during their travel. On top of that, they mostly alloc uh, allocated one-star hotels, which don't have enough facilities. Some of the girls have also admitted that their hotels were far too dirty to occupy because of the animal droppings present in their rooms. Some got annoyed with Gabrielle Stand. I don't know why she's written this. I've always seen cheer girls having a great time at the party, said fashion choreographer Prasad Bidapa, who organized the IPL parties. Cricket, cricketers are usually cautious at these parties as media is present, says another IPL official. Remember, friends, coming back. Let me just get on. Yeah. Remember, friends, for these cricketers, Changing girlfriends and leading a fast life with drugs and drinks is just a part of the life that IPL has introduced them to. Virat Kohli had around five to six girlfriends before he finally married Anushka. MS Dhoni started a company with Suraj Singh, who was connected to, uh, who was uh, working for Ekta uh, Kapoor at that time. You remember Suraj Singh? He was the one who was seen with Sandeep Singh at the Cooper Hospital mortuary. Suresh Raina's agent, Ritika, is Bunty Sajda's cousin sister. So everything starts and ends at the same place. But if you were to look at the links, companies like Quan and Cornerstone would have perhaps been supplying the drugs, as mentioned in several WhatsApp chats shown on Republic and Times Now back uh, around uh, some uh, 10 months back. So shell companies that SSR was forced to start in the name of Rhea and her brother, where money would be laundered, drugs which were supplied by the companies, linked to these people and uh, sex trafficking of child and women through NGOs, supply of adrenochrome in the way of energy drinks by Bollywood star couples, organ trade, extortion and murder are all the links of the same chain that make a full circle and which is what our Sushant Singh Rajkumar was trying to expose with his chain through perhaps his diary as well. When Rajkundra uh, is caught Dino Moria deletes all his social media talk. When Sushant Singh uh, is murdered, Rhea deletes all her pictures and her chat. When Disha died, perhaps her boyfriend uh, Rohan would have deleted everything that he had, her pictures and everything. Altogether, these dirty people, they stand in solidarity and silence to protect each one another. And cricketers with their lifestyle, their plush uh, luxury and the uh, need for everything from uh, you know uh, uh, leading lives uh, you know large size with their betting match fixing sex drugs and booze at parties uh, friends it's not only that there are also mobile apps which make youngsters addicted to betting if ipl is not removed this will continue to corrupt our youth and the rich will become richer and more corrupt and this, friends, is just a tip of the iceberg. What we spoke today is only, you know, the tip of the iceberg. See, there are so many things that are happening. If you were, if you look at everything, uh, friends, there's so much that's happening. And uh, it's like, you know, uh, unless we ourselves boycott these cricketers and these actors and these politicians who are playing foul, Unless we, the public, you know, take action vocally, speaking loudly, putting pressure, these things will continue. If you see that everybody is connected, the cousin, the brother, the uh, politician, the actor, his cousin, you know, everybody is connected. And each one is ma making money and each one is, you know, so cozily protecting the other. If you look, I'll just tell you an instance, right? If you look at, uh, just open your, uh, you know, mobile. And you look at the Google News, you will see that only certain people who are protect, protected by this cabal, uh, you can call it cabal, you can call it the you know, Illuminati, you could call them the gang, the underworld, whoever, you will see that only these protected species are given PR. The genuine actors, there are, we are not saying that all of, all of uh, bully readers are uh, bad, there are genuine actors. They just, uh, I mean, many of them uh, are so scared that they get married and they leave the, the field. So none of them ever get any importance. You're talking about the same 
you know, actors. You're talking about Rhea Chakravarti, who does nothing but twiddle her thumbs. But then, you know, she's always in the news. There's a director who constantly says that, see, uh, you know, she is she's still waiting to show her potential. What is the potential that she's planning to show? She's an accused number one. And she's only out in B. So what is she going to try to prove? I would like to ask the director. You remember, it's the same director who visited her, uh, SSR and her when they were in the Waterstone res Resort. They're all hand in glove. Everyone is hand in glove. So you, if you look at the news bits, you will see the same people, whether it's Sarah Ali Khan or, you know, Mimi, what you call Mauni Roy or Urvashi Rothela. These are all the same people, you know. And in this Google News, you'll also find certain politicians who protect these people. Why do you think that certain people don't get into trouble despite making movies that uh, degrade India, that show India in such a poor light? It's because they're protected. So friends, that's all for uh, now, but let me just take a look at your comments as well. MS is the only real brother struggling so much in earning money. No, uh, this is not true. Uh, um, uh, he has so much money and he has so, so many companies, Jay. Uh, KB, yes. Rhea has no potential, just support of Biggie's who has been boycotted. Yes, by a big time by public. Gloria, Boywood, uh, boycott Gutterwood and all that they are involved in. Yes. Peace. Today, no sportsman is supporting the Kale Ratna Awards named, named actually after Dhyan Chanji who gave us three Olympic awards, yes. And it's also a very important uh, piece to say that uh, luckily now other sports, thanks to Modiji's uh, you know, vision, uh, hockey and other sports are taking precedence over cricket, which is the most polluted form of sports. And remember, people in, uh, you know, big shots from uh, Congress were the ones who were patronizing it. Thank you, Anju. I was often saying the world has to know about what's happening in Maharashtra. Only if making worldly know, it will stop. And the victims deserve the world to know. I became blocked on Varun Fogas. Okay. Runa, you're right about the cheerleaders. Yes. Nirupam, Sanjay Nirupam was seen parting with Bollywood last 27. Snake Singh was also present. And you know who is also always with them, which is Ankita Lokande. Oh my gosh, these people said such... The wrong impressions in public, they should be punished severely. Thank you, Shoba. Please, very excited for today's topic. Thank you so much. Boycott Bollywood and IPL, yes. Absolutely. Yes, it's very important that IPL should be closed. If, if, if this, is a, <clears throat> this is a breeding ground for corruption and sex and drugs. Mickey, good morning. Mickey. Rini, no uh, uh, black, white, cricket or ads will, uh, will ever be supported by me until all the cases are resolved and the entire clean, clean up is done. That's the least I can do from end to end to the drop in ocean. I pray for justice. Yes, Rini. Rini, not going to feed the egos and greed of people looking down on others, thinking they are lords and we citizens are fools. Yes. If the actors are involved in drugs, how can they be an idol? What can they tell the upcoming generation? And what advice can you give it to the young one? This is a big shame in Bollywood. Great topic. Many are not even aware of this dark underbelly of cricket. They feel match fixing was a one-off issue. PM Modi should do something concrete on this front. Here also, I would like to mention something. See. Uh, Anurag uh, Thakur, the present uh, sports minister, was a part of the BCCI. So he should also open his mouth and say, tell us what he saw there, the kind of corruption. Why did he keep quiet? He was also acting very close to Congress fellow uh, Rajiv Chakla. So he should tell us what happened at these parties and what was happening there. And why, why, why was it not exposed? Ma'am, what happens after IT raids on TP and Higay? She and SAK pop up on all. Yes. Good evening, uh, Prachi. Yes, much better, KB. Thank you so much. Speedy recovery. Thank you. Anjali, good evening. 
have been prayed. It's working, KB. Thank you so much. They know a very good evening to you as well. Sangam, welcome, Sangam. Pooja, thank you. Feeling much better, friends. Your best wishes are working, I'm sure. Thank you, Pooja. Pauline from California, very good evening to you, ma'am. Always a pleasure listening to your platform. Thank you so much. KB, thank you, KB. Yes, welcome to the family. Good evening, Vipin. Saudi, bonjour. Prabha, good evening uh, to you. Je vais bien. <laughs> KB. Welcome, Nilu. Good evening, uh, Peace. Hello, dear Monica. Welcome, Alka. Thanks, Monica. Good evening, Rochelle. Peace, what a shame they bring to the noble game of cricket. I've stopped watching it totally, absolutely. Sanjat, much needed topic. Good evening to all of CN Formula. Welcome, Sanjat. And thank you for the brilliant uh, talk we had yesterday about the serial, uh, serial killer, Charles Manson. KB, since I came to know about the drugs party and prefix matches, I too have stopped totally. Monica, even cricket has become a dirty game field. It's what won India independence. This is also sad. Uh, here, uh, Monica, I would also like to mention that just have a look at all the homes that these cricketers have. These youngsters, you know, when young people are struggling to make money to build one house in their lifetime, these people have houses that will beat, you know, even the Hollywood stars. Where is all this money coming from? Don't you know where it's coming from? And why are we encouraging it? Even yes, absolutely, Monica. Shalin Chopra is exposed. Wives be present when drugs are pouring out at their wild parties. Yes. Rashmi, watch Inside Edge. Serial on Amazon. Yes, we should do that. Their wives are used as props. Absolutely. Good evening, Soman. Welcome. Hope today's session is also reality of the actual ugly faces of the cricketers and the chundali. Yes. Virat and wife, new Lux models. Yes. Who get page three importance all the time. Shale. Good evening, Shale. <laughs> Good evening, Jay. Monica, of course, they would. He ever say he was involved in match fixing? Why would he ever say that? Yes. Welcome, Sanchi. By now, it's well known there's a huge money riding on the IPL. Thanks to the entry of bookies and punters into the fray with links to the underworld. Yes. And because they have, we, we have illustrious, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, police officers like Paramveer Singh and Vazi, they're all given the red carpet treatment. So nobody gets caught. The money just exchanges hands. Now that PBS is out of favor of powers that be, it will be great if NCB goes after Arbaz again. If evidence is still there, someone should alert Vakhade, sir. Yes. Shetty quest for being that on the top lifestyle has led to her downfall heavily. Yes. I hope you're fine. I hope now the dominance of cricket will be wiped out since we are doing superbly in Olympics. Yes, Seema. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. To Jay. And do you realize Suzanne Khan always looks high? Yes. Not only Suzanne Khan, even Lambuji's daughter. Shame. And these wives show off their kids as if no one else has <laughs> their baby bumps. Renu, like Bollywood, the cricket world too needs a cleanup. Yes. Peace, ban IPL. Seema Joshi, we need to give other sports persons. Their due honor. See, if you look at the background of the people who have won now, uh, be it hockey or any other kind of sports in this Olympics, they all come from such simple backgrounds. If we if we give them importance and we give them the uh, the means to excel at every uh, you know event, 
you can imagine how many medals our country will receive and how proud we as Indians could be, KB. Sanjat, wine, drugs, wealth and women, all abused in the society of the so-called elites. Yes, Sanjat, all of this connects to the stories that you're uh, now exposing, uh, you know, to our viewers. Preno, our respect for celebrity status of the so-called stars is completely shattered. Yes. Peace. Kudos to Gabriella. Thank you, ma'am, for exposing these jackpots. Shame on these cricketers. And, you know, just because she exposed it, she got kicked out. You know, all these people, the sports minister and all that, all of them want to hide the truth. They want to make money. You know, uh, uh, you say as long as the sun is uh, shining, you know, make as much hay as you can. It's the same, same thing here. Make as much money as you can. And after your term as a politician, you would have had five houses, you know, and a, a, a million other things, you know, cars and other things. Jay, cricket and Bollywood goes hand in hand. Both same. Boycott, IPL. Yes. Nazreen, ban Bollywood, IPL and all endorsements. Oh, trust me, that was not wine that she was high on. She literally was holding on to the corridor entrance door. Yes. Sanjat, hello there, sir. Anna Bharti. Thank you so much, Anna. ARK saying, friends, why is Dhoni's blue tick removed from his Twitter account? <laughs> I didn't notice that. Should look at it here. KB. Yes, the three Ws. Our society needs to awaken, especially the male species. Please, MS reportedly endorses for some Amrapali builders. Rose goes into his wife's account. Yes, this is what I wanted to tell the other person who said he's a popper. Uh, MS Dhoni has many companies and he's very closely connected to these people like Suraj Singh and uh, Ikta Kapoor. See, it is the same old, what do you call? Uh, same wine in new bottles. That's what I would say. So it, there's no difference here. So Peace uh, says, let me just repeat that. Peace says, MS reportedly endorses for some Amrapali builders. He also wanted to do a movie. Rose goes into his wife's account. Project fails. Investors left high and dry. Yes, they were, they were threatened. I remember that, yes. Sanjit, hello, KB and Monika. Check out 26th of yesterday's session. Something creepy happened in the background sound, yes. Yes, here, uh, friends, uh, you know, in the in the session that uh, Sanjat and Jaydev had, when they were talking about uh, the satanic, uh, you know, the satanic uh, uh, family, uh, that is um, uh, Charles Manson's family, and where um, John Lennon died, it is exactly at that point, you hear a very eerie sound saying yes, like a hissing sound, and also uh, two sound, you know, two knocking sounds. So uh, actually, Sanjata and Jay, they were quite uh, taken aback by that. So in case you want to see it, you could always go back and listen to that at that point. That's why MS Dhoni is quite on Sushant case, because cricket also involved in drugs. Brilliant, Jay. That's a very good point. Jay, he was at the party where SSR was mishandled, manhandled, yes. Monica, oh my gosh, do I have to do this? OK, I'll do it, I guess. Uh, oh, we'll check after the session. Was that sound not intended to be there? Uh, son, uh, KB, something weird was happening there. That's what we, uh, when we heard that, something very eerie. So uh, perhaps you can also hear it and tell us what it is <laughs> that you feel. ARK, peace next. So sad our beloved SSR had to tolerate so much by himself. You remember so much of this SSR has exposed. Sanjit, yes, after this live session only, something not put in by any of us, yes. Jay, yes, I know this news saw it on YouTube and something more also is definitely there, yes. Why do they get married to Bollywood celebrities and item girls? All absolutely crazy. Here, please, I'd also like to tell you something. If you, I don't know how many of you have noticed that uh, most of the time, the only cricketer who comes in these ads is Kohli. Now, Bunty such there, his cornerstone, manages all the ads. You see the link. And if you go to Google News, it's only about Anushka and Kohli and their child. Even if the child is sleeping, they'll show a photograph. If the sun shines on the child's face, they'll show it. What is this obsession with Kohli and his wife? 
is what we would like to ask. What has Anushka done other than delivering a child? Has she got some special award? Or has she done something for the nation? KB, I think you were speaking about John Lennon's death that time. Yes. Must go and hear that. Yes. Boycott Bollywood IPL. People of India feel proud of our Indian hockey team. Both men and women's team. Support hockey team. Absolutely. Jati, Sushant Singh had six fights against or perhaps useless topic. Well, Jati, uh, I, know, I know where you're going with this. So I'd rather have you removed because I don't like what you're saying uh, when you are trying to concoct something. Peace. Because in India, people used to treat cricket in Bollywood same. Gave a lot of importance to these dancing jokers. Absolutely. Ajay, as you're aware in uh, IPL, Deepika Parikon also with Kingfisher Boy. And you know, there's a there's a photo where, um, you know, uh, Malaya is hugging Shilpa and Rajkundra is looking happily on. Rajkundra loves it when uh, Shilpa hugs other men. Please hit the like button. Thank you so much, KB. Peace, true. Monica? That's so true, spot on. Welcome, uh, Saranya. Stella, maybe I shouldn't speak in French because I was banned from two major chats after having received a message asking if I was French. I wonder if it was from <laughs> Mahapower, possible. <laughs> Peace. We are wise enough to recognize perverts. Your name is misleading. Bonjour, comme uh, allez Yes, KB, it seems very fluid. J, peace. Both professional involve money, fame, and name. That's why they thought it works well. So cricketers marry Bollywood. So, no, it's not that, uh, uh, J. This is an understanding. And this is all done by this cornerstone only. There is something to it. I don't think there's any, you know, love is not at all involved in the, uh, you know, in the equation at all. Saranya, maybe SSR started investigation after MS Dhoni film. Money has made them mad. Peace, Nicks. Ajay, please note, Bollywood family and cricket family are involved in nonsense business. Yes. Peace, excess of everything is bad. Runa, Roy. IPL should be exposed. Cheerleaders are there for sex requirements. Didn't we enjoy cricket when cricket uh, cheerleaders didn't exist? Shame on them who exploit women, including the women who are involved. You know, here, Runa, I'd like to tell you, uh, you know, uh, the, this is also part of the hypocrisy. Shiv Sena actually banned these cheerleaders. Okay. But what are they doing? What is happening in Bombay? You know, how, how come there are so many deaths of young women? So I would rather not comment on, you know, even if they ban it, what goes on in their minds. They treat her like a star potential of a murder. Today, no sportsman is supporting the Kale Ratna was named aptly after Dhyan Chand. Who gave us three Olympic gold medals? Yes. Boycott, Gutterwood, and all that they're involved in. Gloria. Anu, Ria has no potential, just support of biggies. Yes. Who have been boycotted big time by public. KB, Pa Isi. Ms. MS Dhoni, real brother, is struggling so much. Jay, we just told you that he is part of a lot of deals with Bollywood. He has companies. He's dealing with people who we find suspicious. So try to read more. Try to gather more news. News that is not coming in mainstream media. Please note that we have to boycott Bollywood and all cricket matches and TV serials. Boycott Bollywood. Nirupam was seen partying with Bollywood last 27th. Snake Singh was also present. Runa Roy, you are so right about the cheerleaders, yes. I was often saying the world has to know about what's happening in Maharashtra. Only if making worldly known, it will stop. The victims deserve the world to know. I became blocked on Varun and Fogas. Thank you, Adjo. Boycott Bollywood and IPN. Shova, like the video. Thank you so much, Shova. Oh my gosh, these people set such wrong impressions in public. They should be punished. Peace.
very excited for today's topic. Thank you so much. Dhyan Chand should also get Bharat Ratna Award. Shiva Bhyan Asi Mercy. Stella. We had just uh, played in November of 2020, but still government allowed IPL in February 2021. And that too, during the COVID. It was shameless. It was absolutely unwanted. It's sad that despite the sanctity of cr cricket, it's becoming a breeding ground for corruption. Boycott IPL. Support our Indian hockey team. Jai no means now, somehow, he died in poverty. We can cherish his name. Bollywood is dead now. Shalini. Support other sports, but not IPL. There's dirty, deep dirt in Bollywood cricket and politics. They are like fungus. Sureka. Sharing. I hate Bollywood. I stopped watching them completely. This is very sad, really. Can't the PM do something about this to stop it? Or any other government agencies in India? Alice. Humans have become so greedy for money, they don't care about relations principles. What level are they influential stooping to? Uh, uh, what level are the influencers stooping to? Yes, disgusting. R Roxy, we all need to boycott them. Yes. Shashitaru, Sunaja, Pushkur wanted to. Yes. It, it's all this, I'm sure. You know, the kind of money that is, you know, changing hands and the kind of involvement. It's, it all goes into terrorism as well, Usha. IPL is a front for betting, drugs, hawala, money laundering, and all unholy illegal stuff. They should be shut down. Yes, Monica, thank you so much. Just a mere presence of you on screen gives a sigh of relief and hope that still we are among good people and good changes will happen. Lots of good wishes, love and prayers from all of us, ma'am. Thank you, Srilu. I also feel very good when I see all of you online with me. Proxy paid PR, yes. Energy, this is also one of the huge money industries where the money is then invested into illegal activities. Who do always see models and actresses only around cricketers? Yes. Sangam, Sri Devi also seems to be quiet and not very uh, uh, social. Poor lady got trapped. How much Sri Devi and SSR would have struggled with these culprits? Yes. I'm very good. Uh, Bollywood reality is coming out after SSR. They showed us that they're more uh, gutter wood. Yes. Anuradha Kuru. Unbiased truth. Romila, welcome. Anuradha, the masks are falling off. Yes. And how? Vard Krishna, all who died either by suicide or accidents in connection with SSR should be thoroughly investigated. Yes, that should be the next step. Pragati, uh, she will be coming tomorrow, Pragati, for a reading of the diary. Please take care of your health. You work very hard to get the truth. Thank you for appreciating that. Uh, Runa, it really means a lot to me. Nanda, Meher Tarar also connected to IPL betting. S. Pushkar wanted to expose her and Tarar connection with Congress and many Bolivarians uh, photos available on media. You remember, uh, Nanda, uh, there was a time when, uh, you know, they had a cricket match in, I think it was in Jaipur, that uh, all these Pakistani cricketers were supposed to have come with drugs, you know. And this was revealed by a very uh, well-known uh, person. Avantika Kumari, good evening. May I approach you on your Instagram? Hope you see. Sure. Monica, it's like we did not deserve the truth. They lied about every single thing. Yes. Thank you, Jehan. Ma'am, your sessions are always unique and so informative. Thank you so much, uh, Sakshi. A citizen speak up, boycott. Absolutely. Anurad. Rajiv Shukla became IPL boss in Modi Raj because he is brother in law of Ravi Shankar. What a shameless people. No, let us not drag Narendra Modi into this. If uh, he's connected to Ravi Shankar, I mean, we, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, perhaps only, only thing is we can pinpoint that he's corrupt. Welcome, Anuradha. There are two Anuradhas. Why is SM filled with videos of certain uh, babies of uh, celebrities? Absolutely. Sarita, uh, Sri Devi and SSA would have struggled a lot. They wanted to get the people to know about them. Yes. Monica. Rajiv Shukla became an IPL boss is a giveaway. It was so obvious. You remember him standing close to all these actresses, you know, in uh, during campaigns, election campaigns. 
Look at the hockey stars. Celebrate them. Yes. Monica, it's like a slow awakening. Sushant truly opened our eyes. The illusions are shattering. Yesterday, a video uh, viral by Pakistanis themselves, destruction and desecration of a Hindu temple, probably being built recently. Very sad. I could not watch it. It was so depressing. I people, people do the do that uh, Sate Baji online at the time of IPL. This is loot from normal people so that they can have those drug parties and so on. IPL should be totally boycotted. Rimpi Chetia, yes. Anu, boycott IPL, boycott uh, movies, reality, which are not so real. These so-called stars are artificial, two-faced. Uh, people, all these people run behind money. Yes. It's a mad race for money. I mean, Ji, I like today's session very much. As always, thank you, Kushi, for all your always giving me support. Govind, Dhoni is close to Suraj Singh. That's why Dhoni chose to remain silent after SSR's death. Why are they greedy with so much of money? We all really struggle so much. Yes, Taga. Ganesh and Shiv statues being broken. Even small kid was seen throwing broken bricks. Shocking, blatant. What is India doing? The crowd onslaught on Hindu temple in Pakistan. This report. Uh, India is taking, uh, the government is taking action. That's what I heard. Uh, cricket used to be a family event until glamorous IPL fixed matches culture seeped in. Yes, Anna. Ma'am, the audio of the witness in Strahil Rag showed at 13 midnight he saw SSI and said, Good night, please talk about this. Uh, first of all, I don't know whether this audio is right or not uh, because you remember uh, of Safran had also come and said that this guy is a drug addict. So I really don't know whether that is true. So I can't speak on something which I'm not uh, you know, very clear about. Anushka has absolutely no appeal, yes. Yes, exactly. Same thing was running in my mind about Virat and Anushka. Every woman gives birth. What is the special thing in Anushka? Yes. Rajkundan loves it when Shilpa hugs other men. What a weirdo. Yes. The Bollywood actors like Ajay, Shahrukh do the endorsement for women, Juban, Kesri. But do they ever ha have it? Only for money they do it. Yes. And just ruin the normal people. Yes. Welcome, Viji. Purna. Anushka was in an affair with Ranvi Singh, my man. Just before, sometimes she got married to Virat. Yes, uh, there's no love involved in all this. Tangam. Why government not stop all this? They are doing something. The endorsements they get after marrying Bollywood celebrities is another factor. Stella, you could also be blocked from these goons, dear Meena. You could, you could also be blocked from these goons, dear Meena. Yeah. Ma'am, uh, why are these gutterwood and cricketers obsessed with money and more money and drugs and crimes? Don't they have the conscience? At the end of the day, how can they sleep without guilt? These, these they say, are middle class morals. They don't have these morals. Dhoni's better half was involved in a big case which was later brushed under the carpet. Go figure. Games people play. Uh, she has come across as a very, very greedy woman, Anna. Peace. Yesterday's episode, there was a carving on the skin which read war. The W looked like a rabbit's. Yes. It's such a noble soul of SSR because of which all these Bollywood actors are exposed. Yes. Boycott Bollywood forever. They're becoming so greedy. Boycott Bollywood and IPL. Tangam, ma'am, I, I do not have TV, ma'am. I never watch serials. Oh. So that should be all for now, friends. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow with a session with Deepti on the next part of the SSR Diaries. Thank you so much for always joining me. And I, whenever I see your uh, you know, names and your comments, I do get emotional, especially when I'm not too well. I feel even more emotional. So thank you all for wishing me uh, and I'm feeling much better now. Thank you so much.